I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a map of the four corners, which I will explain when we get done. Take one finger way over here towards the left and put a dot. And from that dot, you're going to draw a straight line down. Come back to the top, draw a straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down and leave it floating. Come back up to this corner and we're just going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, draw a little line there and connect. Come over here to where we were and we're going to line this up, a little straight line if you need to, and connect. Now come back over here on the left. We're going to draw a straight diagonal in, Curve line out, curve line in, little curve line down, curve line out, down, out, down, curve line in, in, straight diagonal down, slightly straight line over, straight line up, and connect. Now come over here on the right, come in a little bit, we're going to draw a straight line down, little straight diagonal up, big straight line down, straight line up, down, up, down, connect. Alright, if you can, right here in this corner we're just going to draw straight line, straight line, triangle, 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 triangle. This is north, south, east, and west. Very important. We're going to label this four corners map. What does that mean? This is Utah. This is Colorado. This is Arizona. And this is New Mexico. What is interesting about them is that, and we're going to come right here, see where the cross is? That is exactly where all four states' borders meet. So we're going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. This point right here, there's a monument called the Four Corners Monument and that's where the borders of the four states meet. It's the only place in the United States where you can be in four states at the same time. Way down here, if you can fit it, Mexico. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, for Utah, I'm coloring this in peach, apricot, beige, if you have multicultural crayons. And I'm going to color this part of the rectangle that color so that you know this is the section of Utah that becomes part of the four corners. Now I'm going to come down to Arizona and I'm going to color this section of my rectangle and this part of the entire state yellow green. I kind of chose colors that reminded me of the state. Utah reminds me of peach beige because of all their parks. Arizona reminds me of yellow green because of all their cacti. Okay? So this section, this space right here is the part of Arizona 
that adds to the four corners. Now, Colorado. I chose regular green because it reminds me of all the forests and the mountains. Now color can help you remember which states are the four corner map states. This is how I'm doing it. You might want to pick some other colors. Go for it. The important thing is, is that you recognize each of the states is part of this four corners rectangle where they meet. And New Mexico, I did orange. This is their space right here in the rectangle and they are the land of enchantment. Now, if you ever have the good luck to go to the Four Corners Monument Park, they have it set up geographically so that you can stand right there at the point where all four states meet. And this is also important for you to have a compass rose on the side so you can talk about what direction everything is and belongs. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my map of the four corners and it is the only place in the United States where you can be in four different states all at the same time. Okay, bye bye.